Hi, I'm Ryan. I currently work as a front-end engineer here at Zoomasys. And in this tutorial, we're going to give you an overview of how to set up just a simple view environment. And if you aren't familiar with Vue, it's just a front-end JavaScript framework that is incredible for interacting with the DOM. Um, after we set up that environment, I'll show you a simple hello world example just to kind of get you familiar with terms and what's happening. Uh, you don't really need to know too much for this other than a little bit of HTML and a little bit of JavaScript. Um, but to get started, we're going to need to go to our GitHub repo where all our docs live. So open github.com in your favorite browser and go to forward slash pick multi value. From there, just scroll down and click on full stack with pick tutorial. Uh, navigate to the front end directory, which has the view directory. And this tutorial is called setting up a simple view environment. And here it's just got all the links that I'll be referring to. And if you need to review anything or go over anything I said, it's all typed out here for you in the readme. Um, so we're gonna get started and open up the web editor. I'm gonna use VS Code for this because it has a lot of cool extensions. And actually our team helped develop one for PIC. So it has legacy extensions so you can see highlighted syntax. Um, so from here, we're going to create a new HTML file just by clicking new. And I like to get a little template from W3 schools. You can get it from wherever, but W3 schools just has this nice, easy, very minimal template. And that links in the repo. And we'll put that in our document and then we'll just save it to the desktop, call it index.html. And then we will head on over to viewjs.org, viewjs.org. And we're gonna just get the view scripts and include them via CDN, which is Content Delivery Network. So that way we don't have to download anything or keep track of stuff, any files. So just click Get Started once you get there. And if you scroll down, you will see a development version of view that we're gonna copy and add to our head. And we're also gonna get the production version. We aren't gonna be using the production version for now, so I'm just gonna comment it out. Um, the development version adds a bunch of handy notes and you know, error tracking and all sorts of stuff. Um, so now, if you go to that file, and open it in Chrome. You'll see the heading, but if you inspect it and go to the console, which is right here, you see you are running Vue in development mode. So that's it. That's how easy it is to get Vue up and running. All right, we're gonna get started by running through the Hello World example. Uh, you can actually look at this in the GitHub repo if you don't feel like typing it out, if you wanna just follow along. Uh, so first we're going to create a div element, we're going to give it an identifier attribute, and I'm just going to call it app, because that's kind of a standard convention. But you can name it whatever you want. I'm going to create a couple script tags so we can write some JavaScript, and in that JavaScript we are going to create a new variable called app. Again, you can kind of name it whatever you want, it's just convention to call it app. Um, and this is where we get into view. So now we are going to create a view instance by calling the view object constructor. And views made it really easy. We just call new. And we are going to pass that an object. And within that object, um, we are going to create some properties. And those properties are what view calls options. And those options tell view what we want it to do. So for this example, we're just going to use the L property and the data property. Um, and the L property is a string and it tells us basically what HTML element uh, we want to inject the view in. So for ours, it's just going to be app, just the div that we just made right here. Um, and then the next we want to use is called the data property. And that actually is an object and that's where you define variables and all sorts of stuff that you can use. And the cool thing is these variables slash data 
are reactive. So they can be manipulated on the fly. And this is really kind of the magic behind any of the front end frameworks, um, including Vue and React and Angular. So if you're familiar with the idea of state, just think of the data as kind of a mini state for our app or view instance. So we're gonna create a variable in there and just call it message. And we'll just, it's just a string. Um, we were gonna say hello world, but I thought I'd give you the California version, which is hey world. So now our data uh, property has message. Um, I feel like I should give you a note about understanding terminology. So we're kind of using view app, view instance, and component interchangeably. And at this point, distinguishing them is not a big deal, but to understand the concepts, probably good to at least talk about it. So our app is what houses the entire application. Currently our app is just one component uh, initiated by a new view, which is a view instance. But our main app could have many children components and view applications are typically built from all sorts of tiny components being used together. So the view instance is just the technical term for what our view object constructor creates. So apps can contain a lot of components and it takes a view instance to create a component. I hope that clears it up a little bit. Um, going back over to our HTML, we're gonna display the data variable in the DOM. Vue calls this declarative rendering. There's a link in the GitHub if you wanna read more. To do that, we're gonna utilize double curly braces, which is kind of what Vue hinges on to interact with HTML. And we're gonna type out message, which is our variable in data. And you can see it's nested nicely in app. And if we save this, go over to our browser, refresh, you can see it says, hey world. So it displayed that. And actually you can see if you just remove it and put it somewhere else in the document or in the DOM, and go back over, you can see Vue doesn't know what to do with it and it's just curly braces again. Um, so we wanna keep it an app. And what's so cool about uh, message being in the curly braces is how easy it is and how it interweaves with HTML. So you can see we have message in there, but I mean, we could uh, just cut this real quick and we could put it in a P tag. Uh, we could add styling to it. Um, how about font size um, equals 20. And if you go back over, you can see uh, the reactive data um, just acts like regular old HTML, which is incredible. Um, and so if we go back over to our browser and we inspect this, um, let's just console log um, our app variable that we made in JavaScript. So if you do that, you see an object comes up and this is the view instance. And you can see it's just a plain old object with all sorts of stuff. Like here's the element that's apt, uh, that's pound app. Um, here's our message variable. And you can really just interact with it like you would any other object. So you could say um, app.message um, well, equals hey world. But if we wanted to, we could just say Actually, let's not make that the California version and just say, hey world. And there you go. You can see it changes right on the screen. And that's the beauty of Vue is that it's so reactive and so easy to interface with the DOM. One last thing I just wanted to show you that we can utilize the production version, comment out the development version. And you can see Vue, I don't know if this probably won't load much faster, but it loads faster as Vue says, especially when you have a lot of code. And then if you inspect it, you can see it doesn't counsel anything for you. And so if we counsel log uh, that app again, the object actually looks a lot different. I mean, the guts don't look all that different, but you can see it's just a W and it's not a view instance. Um, 
Anyways, I hope that's helpful to look at. All right, you now have a simple view environment up and running. And you can see how simple that was and how easy it interacts. Um, for our next video, we're going to show you how to access an API and display API data um, from a PIC database in view. So uh, click the button to watch that.